Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I have a little collective thrift haul. So this past Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and Monday, Valley Village had a 50% off everything for its VIP members. So once I got that coupon, I knew I wanted to go thrifting. So I'll be showing you a little bit of footage from me thrifting this past Friday. It is probably a very little amount of footage because it was pretty full and I feel really awkward still filming with so many people around me. But anyways, I will also be showing you the other thrifted stuff I've been collecting this past month. Some stuff from ThreadUp, some stuff from St. Vincent de Paul, some stuff from Goodwill, some stuff from Texas Thrift, Family Thrift Center. I went to a few new thrift places and it is going to be kind of a long video so grab a snack grab a drink and enjoy all the stuff i've been thrifting but before i get into all that please take a moment to like this video subscribe if you haven't and to follow me on instagram Okay, so let me show you the stuff that I got at Value Village's 50% off sale. I got, I don't remember how many pieces, but I spent about $22, so that's a really good deal. And I'll show you my favorite piece. It is this, I think it's vintage from like maybe the 90s. It's just the brand Mirrors. It is in a size medium, but it is this kind of shiny, satiny black top. It has these buttons, but then it kind of stays open like right below the bust. So it's really like that style of shirts that I've been seeing a lot of people wear where they button it and then they leave it open to kind of expose like midriff, I guess. So it just has these buttons, like I said, they are a nice mother of pearl color, which I don't think you can see on camera, but it is a really nice silky shirt. Not actual silk, but silky material. And the next item is this buy and buy bodysuit. It has a high neck and it is in this sheer mesh kind of material that also has polka dots. It reminds me of those second skin tops that are really trendy for 2021, but it's a bodysuit so you don't have to worry about it untucking or not staying in place. And I, I like bodysuits, especially when they have the snaps at the bottom. The next piece is this kind of maxi-ish length skirt it is from the brand wild fable which is from target this one is a bit big on me i kind of knew that when i got it that i would need to go get it tailored it is in a small so it's a little big at the waist it does have an elasticized waist but it is still too big but i love the tiered design and the dark floral uh tiered dresses and skirts are also very trendy for this year so i really like this and i've been loving 
longer length skirts and with the weather kind of warming back up in texas this will be really nice for the springish weather we've been having more springish stuff with this mng yeah mng suit dress and it is a mini dress with this really fun and bright sunflower print it is a wrap dress and it is in a size small so it is a bit big at the waist and a little bit longer than i'd like so i'm still trying to decide if i want to get it shortened or if i should just try to try a longer length but i don't know but i do really like this pattern it's so bright and fun it makes me want to dye my hair yellow <laughs> but it's the other item okay next is this it could be a top or like a little cardigan cover-up thing. I think I will use it as both. But it is this crochet long sleeve with very pretty ruffle details on the cuff and on the collar. And it just has a little ribbon to tie in the front. So it can be like a super crop top or it could be like a little cover-up for a dress or anything. Super versatile. Um, and it is just the brand Studio Y. I'm not sure. I don't think this is vintage, but it's super cute. Okay, and this one is definitely vintage. Um, it is the brand Laura by Elysia, made in the US. That noise that you hear is these beautiful gold buttons that it has. Uh, so it's just this knit construction longer cardigan. It had these really intense shoulder pads, which I am not a fan of. So I took them out. Uh, this is a size 8 but it fits really nice, uh, kind of an oversized look. I really like that it's black, but it has a little bit of red and white. So it kind of is adding a little bit of color into my mostly dark wardrobe. And the last item that I got at the half off sale at Valley Village are these Magda Magdasian, Magdasian uh, little flat little kitten heels so these are in a size four and a half which is my ideal size i almost never find shoes in this size uh they are this kind of patent leather tip with just leather throughout i really really like this detail of the crisscross right at the front where you have that toe cleavage um and this is a style i've always liked that kind of fancy old lady vibes but i almost never wear stuff like this so i'm really going to challenge myself to incorporate these into my wardrobe uh they do have a little bit of a scratch here but it's leather and they look pretty well worn but not too badly the inside uh the name has come off but thankfully the name is still on the back so okay so let's move on to the thread up order make sure that my <laughs> mailing address isn't on there uh but i got this box pretty early on at the beginning of the year uh, i think this is my first thrifted pieces of the new year actually so i already opened them and looked at them because i wanted to make sure that everything fit because with thread up it's always kind of a hit or miss if it's going to fit or not but let's get into what's in there so this first piece was kind of loud i was really excited about so it is this beautiful clear kind of greenish bluish like a teal color bag it is a really nice size and it has beautiful silver hardware this like double chain that i guess you could use if you wanted to be more of like a small handbag but you could also just put both of them on there and this is from the brand <sighs> And this is from the brand Charles and Keith. It was on final sale. So I just, I liked it. And I like the strap. It's a nice light cream color. It has really nice detailing. And it has, it has a magnetic closure that actually works. And a little pocket here. But yeah, I just, I wanted a more fun bag that 
would actually fit everything I need and it's super cute. I love it. I don't have anything like this. And the next two items are just two dresses. They're both from Forever 21, I believe. It's just this mini dress. It is a polka dot pattern. It has little gold buttons at the cuffs. Uh, but what I really liked about this dress is the... I don't know what this is called, but it has like a collar and it closes, but it has this opening here. It kind of reminds me of a lot of more fancy dress designs, but this one was a really good price. The last piece is also from uh, Forever 21, the contemporary brand, and it is just this animal print midi dress. I know that animal print is kind of on its way out, but I actually really have been enjoying it. So just got this and it's like below the knee, at least on me. Maybe it's knee length on most people, but for me it's below the knee. These next two items are from a new thrift store to me. Well, again, it's not new. I have gone to it many, many years ago, but it's the family thrift center that they have in Houston. And I, this is the outlet one. So I'll just explain a little bit about how it works in case you have one nearby you. The new inventory that they put out on Thursday starts out, everything is $2. Then on Friday, it goes down to $1.75. Saturday, $1.50. Sunday, $1.25. Monday, $1. Tuesday, $0.50. Cents, and Wednesday, every item is 25 cents i mean amazing but i went on a sunday each of these pieces was a dollar 25 so total these two pieces were two dollars and 71 and the first item is another pendleton a vintage pendleton sweater and it's also green so if you saw my last collective thrift haul from 2020 the last one i did i had found a pendleton sweater at an estate sale this time i found one at a thrift store and this one is seven 72% silk. It is a beautiful bright green. So the other one I had previously thrifted was a darker green and that one was cotton. This one is silk and a little bit of rayon so it is a little bit more stretchy and this one is in a size small so it's more fitted. I love both of them and I love that they're both green and this was a dollar twenty-five. I mean amazing for a silk sweater. And the other item is another vintage piece. It is a vintage all that jazz dress and it is in a size 7, 8. If you thrift a lot, you know that certain items like this dress that are made of rayon and acetate are dry clean only for the reason that if you wash them and dry them like any other piece of clothing, they will shrink. So knowing that, I washed it and dried it so that it would shrink because I wanted it to fit me a little bit better and it worked. So on camera, it is looking a little crazy, but it is just this black like kind of maxi dress. It has these little slits at the back little tie at the waist and now it fits more or less like my size and it is beautiful and it will be perfect for layering okay so these next two items are from a thrift store called texas thrift and even though it is a quote new store for me it's not a store i haven't gone to uh, previously i lived in denton which is right almost at the border of texas and oklahoma so really really north texas and they had Texas thrift stores over there in that area and I went to them quite frequently. But since moving back to Houston, I didn't even know that there was Texas thrift stores here. There is actually two. One of them is really far, so I don't think I'll be going to it anytime soon. But there is one that is not too far away, so I decided to go since I really, really liked Texas thrift stores back in the DFW area. So I did get a few things. Probably the most amazing find that I got there is this vintage Christian Dior top and it is absolutely beautiful. It's not a color I would normally wear, this kind of a darker tan brownish color, but it is such a beautiful design. I love the red flowers and this tie up bow that you can do in the front. Um, so yeah, it's a 100% silk top. It is in a size 12. It, I would approximate it is about a medium. It does not fit me too big. So it is something I will definitely be wearing. It is such a luxurious feeling top and it's so beautiful. I don't remember exactly how much it was, but for these four items, I think I spent like $20 all together. So pretty good deal. So the next item is this vintage belt. It has a brown side, but it also 
can be used on the black side, which I will probably be doing most of the time. Or you can even kind of mix and match because it has these like twisty reversible areas. So if you want, you could have black, brown, and then black or the other or just all one color. I really like it. I It's a medium, but I just added my own, my own holes to make sure it fit exactly how I want it. I love this oversized circular buckle. It has a really nice design. I love that it's a silver color. And I just, I love it. It's so nice, so sturdy. And yeah, I always love getting new belts. This next item is a little <laughs> weird. Maybe I, I, I don't know. I just, first of all, the name. It's by Cynthia Howie from Maggie Boutique. And my name is actually Cynthia. So when I saw this, I was like, okay, so this is like a designer that has my name. So immediately liked it i also like that that it's this green and blue plaid which is my favorite plaid color combination it also has a velvet detail at the neck and these really cute oversized buttons it is a size four and it is like a i don't even know how to describe this style but it's like a midi length plaid dress that has that very like a line dress um, I don't have anything like this in my closet, but I think with the proper styling, it can look really vintage-y, but also so modern at the same time. And the last item that I got at Texas Thrift is this uh, casual corner skirt. It is a maxi skirt in a size 4. It is too big at the waist. <laughs> no surprise there. Uh, but uh, I will just take it to get it taken in, but look at this color. I love this bright cobalt blue. It is a nice long length and it has a really nice slit at the back so that you can actually walk in it pretty nice. And it is just a beautiful maxi floral skirt in a beautiful blue color. Next, I will be showing you the stuff that I got from the St. Vincent de Paul shop. So this is from two separate trips. Let's start out with the standout item. And it is this vintage Kate Spade bag. It is in this soft wool material. It, it is in a dark gray and it has a really cute red inside. I already have my stuff in there because I've been using it and I have been seeing a lot of people thrift these and I wanted one. I almost got one on eBay and I'm glad I did not because I was about to pay $40 and this one was $9.99 I think. So it's beautiful and it has these little silver bumpy things whatever they're called and i wasn't sure if i would like it but i do love this bag i don't really have a lot of shoulder bags but this one is a nice size for me and it is so roomy i can fit everything in here i love it that same day that i got that purse i also thrifted this vintage heralds another sweater turtleneck top and this one is also 80 percent silk and this one is a nice muted kind of pistachio celery green it is in a medium but it's kind of like a kind of cropped length and even though it is a medium fits pretty well it is a little loose on the arms but i don't really mind that it just makes it a little bit more comfy to wear and it is so nice and the other item i got is this vintage true blue dress it it says it's a size 8, but I think it might be a girl's. Okay, so it's kind of like this overall dress, but only the top is overall. And look look at these. They're little sunflower silver buttons. So it's a size 8, but I think it's a kid's or maybe it is a woman's. I don't know. But the bottom is this super fun bright green with orange sunflowers. It has a little tie back. This one is a little bit longer than I'd like, so I will definitely be getting this one hemmed. But I can't wait to wear this when it gets super hot again. I know that a lot of people like the cold, but I am not one of those. I love summer. And these two are from a separate trip that I took to the St. Vincent de Paul shop, but uh, these two are quality pieces. Both of them are vintage and both of them are silk. This one is from the brand Ellison Taylor. It is 80% silk and it is this lightweight kind of sweater top and it has that open front and the little ties so you can tie it at the neck and it is just a nice beautiful silk 
top. I mean, you can't go wrong with these. These are such a staple. I love this piece. It is a city silk knitwear petite. 70% silk, 30% cotton, and it is just this lovely little cardigan. This nice rib knitwear, and it has buttons, so you could wear it as a cardigan or as a top. And like I said, you can't go wrong with good quality vintage silk pieces. So these last few pieces are from two separate trips to two different Goodwills. The first one is from a Goodwill that's the closest to me, but I rarely go to it because it is always, always full. But on my way to pick up some pieces I had uh, waiting for me to pick up at my tailor's place, I saw that it was actually not that full, so I went in and I found a lot of nice stuff. Like, for starters, these beautiful and Klein heels. So look at this beautiful platform. They are black strappy heels with a nice thick heel and a platform so that I can actually probably wear them. And it's strange because the other pair of shoes that I showed before was a four and a half, which is my ideal size, but I can range anywhere from four and a half, five, five and a half to six, and sometimes even a six and a half, depending on the shoe and how the shoe shoe runs and I would say these run very small. These are a six and a half. Yeah, but they fit like a five. I would say this is maybe five and a half at the most, but they fit me really, really nice. And I don't have a lot of sandals, especially heeled sandals, even though I'm an adult and I should wear more <laughs> adulty things. So I was excited to find these. I think this will be a nice addition to the few heels I have. So whenever I do go somewhere kind of fancy, I'll have something to wear and these were $6.99. So Really nice price. They don't look like they were ever worn, so. And the next item is this vintage Don Joy Fashions. It is this beautiful blue and pink midi maxi dress. So this one is missing the slip. So it is, I would say, semi-sheer. In the sunlight, you can kind of see through it. So I'm debating on whether I need to find a slip or if I can just wear shorts and a bralette and you know, it will be passable and not too scandalous, but I love this color. It says it's in a size 910 or I, I don't know if this is like the size or it's just the lot. It says lot 910. So it could be a different size. I don't know. It fits me pretty well. It has a elastic size waistband and a drop waist here at the bottom. It is missing a button on the left hand side. It has these really pretty, oh, it's missing buttons on both sides, wow. <laughs> It's missing buttons on both sides. This one was just held by a safety pin, but it's supposed to have these pink buttons. Uh, I will probably just put some clear buttons in its place and fix it up. And it has baby shoulder pads, which I will probably leave because it does add a nice structure to this very flowy fabric. But I got this dress, super pretty. And this next item, which I thought when I bought it that it was a skirt. But when I got home, I saw it's pants. It's those very flowy pants, but it looks like a skirt when you have it on. And it has an elastic size waist and a zip side. And it kind of has this very pretty pleated front, which kind of adds more to the illusion that it is a skirt. I'm pretty sure this is an Asian brand, but I'm not sure it's Puella or maybe it's just European. I don't know, but it's in a size 155 slash 64a which i actually looked up and it's like a small maybe extra small but these fit perfectly they're nice and high-waisted and it's like the best of both worlds because it looks like a skirt but it's pants they're super fun and they have like a semi sheer design so it has a double layer of shorts and then it's kind of sheer throughout the leg but this will be a nice transition piece for the spring and this next piece is a french brand called Etinchel paris and it is acetate so it's like this velvet and it's a hand wash only but it is such a beautiful soft velvet and it has this beautiful crochet detail Tail, and it has buttons all the way to the top so you can button it all the way. It has a very kind of Victorian style. Is that what it's called? Um, but it's such a nice top. You can wear it as a kind of cardigan or a shirt and it looks so effortlessly like that Parisian vibe. So 
got this as well and i got this which is kind of a whole different vibe than everything else this is from the men's section and it's david carey originals it is in a size medium um and it is just this short sleeve button down top i really like that it had these kind of fake wooden buttons and what i really really like is the pattern with the vintage cars and how kind of americana it looks and i really like it i ever since i saw what show was that that show that zoe kravitz is in that was sadly canceled and she wore a lot of men's button down short sleeve tops and they look so cool on her i've been loving and i've been wanting one and i love vintage cars i don't actually like modern cars i love these old-fashioned cars so i got this nice oversized top okay and these are the last three items oh my god i feel like i've been talking forever so if you're still watching thank you so much i know this is a long collective haul but i also got these three items from my goodwill this is another goodwill that i do like going to more it is a little bit more organized and less full but i got another pair of shoes that's right i got three pairs of shoes i can't believe it six and a half at goodwill and these are a five and a half at the other goodwill so this is the brand cape robin and it does have a little bit of like nick and this right here but i feel like this would have happened to me anyways they are super pointy they have a side zip with some gold pulley thingy a nice little low kitten heel and even though this is a low heel it is very like slippy <laughs> Uh, I think I will take some sandpaper and sand this heel down so I don't fall because I tried to wear them yesterday and I almost slipped walking. But the inside looks really nice. It is a nice fitted leg, calf area, ankle area. There we go. And they fit pretty well. They are a little wide so I think I will just pop a little insole in there and they'll be good to go. And they're super cute. So the last two items, these next two items are tops this one is from the brand cc and it is just this gingham long sleeve it has a really beautiful little collar with these black little what is this called like a detail at the collar the little balls i don't know what that's called but it's so cute i love gingham especially black and white gingham and i was thinking maybe i could make a full gingham like gingham dress gingham shirt gingham mask and all I need is Kingdom shoes. But I got this top. It is a really nice top. It kind of has like a baby puff. Uh, you can tell because it has this kind of material that creates like a flare underneath. So I really like it, but it also irritates my skin. So don't know if I'm going to leave it on there. But I love the aesthetic of it. I just need to get my skin to get used to it. Okay, and this is the last top. It is from the brand Cupio. Cupio, C-U-P-I-O. It is in a size small and it is a black sheer-ish top. I really love these balloon sleeves. Just how dramatic they are and that they're sheer and as you can probably tell i love a high collar it just it does something to me uh but the bodice is a i don't know kind of looks like what is that called like a grid design and it's not really sheer it is kind of sheer um and it has a beautiful little edge at the bottom but i just i like tops like this and i love wearing black tops and black shoes and black everything so that has been my first collective thrift haul slash come thrift with me at Valley Village and I want to say thank you if you stayed until the end. I know it was long. I know I had almost 30 pieces. Please let me know in the comments what have you been thrifting? What is your favorite piece? But anyways, thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in my next one. Bye!